Hey everybody, welcome to Antalya, Turkey. So we've been here for two months and all good things come to an end. It's time for us to try a new location in Turkey. So we're heading to Alanya in today's video. We have a couple things to take care of. As you all know, we travel with our two dogs. So we've got some last minute business to take care of in Antalya. And then we'll be heading over to Alanya and giving you our first impressions of that location. Many of our viewers told us Alanya is like a small Antalya and we needed to go check it out. So let's go. We'll be there for a month. Hey Arya, guess what? It's grooming day. You wanna go to the groomers? Let's go check out your groomers today. Yeah. You're excited. You're excited for the groomer. We tried to get the dogs cleaned up before we ever moved locations. And this is our second time actually coming to this veterinarian's office for a grooming. So we're going to drop the girls off here. They're going to get their cleanup. And we're going to go get dessert while we wait. We went around the corner to Little Dose Coffee Shop. And here's their menu. Feel free to pause. But they've got a great cake it's called a San Sebastian cake and we thought we would get one last piece before we left the area oh. let's eat <laughs> so this is a crazy good kind of decadent cheesecake and of course a couple cappuccinos to go with the cake is never a bad idea do you feel guilty that you're eating the San Sebastian cake and having a cappuccino while your two dogs are sitting somewhere panicking? Aw, well, no, because I'm getting the best beauty treatment for them. Yeah, but they were scared. Yeah, they're each getting an outfit. Yeah, that makes it all better. Two cappuccinos and that piece of San, San Sebastian, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. came out to be 85 lira, so 95 after tip in total. Well, let's go back over to the vet's office so we can pick up our girls and head over to Alanya. Look at you. You got your lion tail? Come here, Arya. Here you go, baby. Here's my lion. Aren't you a sweet lion? Yeah. Give you a roar. Got a new sweater for Katie. That's 50 lira. And then that's a new jacket for Arya. It's 200 lira. Katie's back from her grooming. Does she have a tail? Let's see her tail. Look <laughs> at her. <laughs> She's going to be like little Arya. <laughs> there she is. Look at that beautiful dog. Getting her new sweater. Oh, new clothes. You. Beautiful. <laughs> this vet's office is great. And beyond the clothes and the grooming, we also got Katie's teeth cleaned. In the United States, that's a pretty expensive ordeal. So let's see what the price is. So the cost for the visit to get the dogs groomed came out to be 300 Turkish lira for the two dogs. Then there's $100, I'm sorry, 100 Turkish lira for Katie to get her teeth cleaned. One eighty, yes, one dog. Okay, normally it's 180 per dog, mm -hmm. but we got a special with our two dogs because they like us. Dogs groomed and in the car, it's time to head to Alanya from Antalya. It's a two-hour journey going to the east. Arriving in Alanya, we went over to check out the beach area. And it turned out to be a really nice location. There's a lot of park area that goes all along the coast. And the sand here was actually very soft. It felt more like it was uh, ocean sand. Not so much like what you're used to with many Mediterranean beaches. On a hot late spring day or summer day, I can imagine that this beach would be packed with tourists. There's a telephoric or cable car that takes tourists up to the fortress that overlooks the beach. That will be a trip for another day that Julie and I will make and eventually check that out and share with you. So this is the beach here in Alanya and you can see it's pretty soft sand. I really have a hard time looking at this sometimes and thinking it's the Mediterranean because it's 
not the typical beaches you see, especially along the northern part of the Mediterranean where there's so many pebbles and rocks. But beautiful beach here. As we take our initial stroll along the beach here in Alanya, we're going to show you some of the parks. There are restaurants that are located here near the waterfront. And apparently people even fish in the water here. We saw a fisherman with his poles. There's a ton of workout equipment, playground equipment. So if you're coming here on vacation with the family, there's going to be a lot of things for everybody to participate in. Basketball courts, tennis courts, there's even beach volleyball. It's an area that's definitely set up for people with an active outdoor lifestyle. From what we understand, the expat community here is fairly large and very international and diverse. There are a lot of Ukrainians and Russians that call Alanya home. And from what we understand, they comprise about 40% of the traditional tourists that come to this region during the summer months. That said, the current situation in Ukraine may have a big impact on this year's tourist season. For those of you that follow Julie and I, you know we love our animals, and they have a vending machine that you put a Turkish lira in, and it drops cat food or dog food down below so that the strays can come and grab a meal. We passed a lot of touristy looking restaurants along the beach area, but we decided to take a quick walk down the residential area and see what it's like where people live and check out a restaurant. Okay, so there's all kinds of restaurants around. We're gonna go to the one with no name. Let's go check it out. <laughs> no idea what this place is called. Julie likes it because it has some Georgian food, King Kali's here. So we found the name of the restaurant, it's Bishkek Restaurant. So the menu is, this part here is in, uh, it's like Russian. And then over here, you have some English stuff. As always, when I show you a menu, feel free to pause, zoom in, or fast forward if you really don't care about the menu. And hopefully this gives you an idea of what some of the prices may look like in the Alanya area. We got the mushroom soup. Comes with a loaf of bread and there's Julie's chicken soup. How is it? It's good, it's different than it than I'm used to. So there's our tuna salad, it's a good size one, so Julie and I will be splitting the salad. We were actually full after eating the salad and the soup, and we really didn't have much room for the kinkali. So here's our kinkali. So, big meal. Yeah. Okay, so our total take came out to 200 Turkish lira. We actually took that kinkali to go, and in the time we were eating, something amazing happened. The sun came out. People came out. Yes, this is the same day. We were just walking through here and there was nobody here. Look at them. They're out here playing ping pong, basketball. People are actually at the beach. We were amazed to see what a difference an hour made in our day. You know, what a difference we had from the weather. It must have gone up a good five degrees Celsius and probably about 12 degrees Fahrenheit. We really felt the vibe change. We were getting more excited now about this location and where we were. Not only were we getting excited, Arya and Katie, they were getting excited. This was getting a whole new vibe and ambiance and the water was starting to look teal colored. Now, our girls liked playing on the beach, but these guys were a lot braver than me they went venturing into this water while the air temperature warmed up. I don't know too much about that water temperature warming up. Anyhow, more power to them. I wasn't going to be joining these guys today. I'm assuming they're from a farther north region. Made it to the beach here in Alanya and it's beautiful. The sand is soft 
and it's been a good experience. What do you think? Oh, definitely. And it, we had some clouds. It's absolutely gorgeous now. And I did video it, but we just met some little Iranian girls that were living on our dogs. They're not allowed to have dogs there, so um, that was kind of a neat thing. Yeah. So if you're new to our channel, Julie and I, we're traveling the world with our two dogs. We're trying to see what it's like to live in other countries, other cities and locations. We're trying to share our costs with you, our expenses and our experiences. And we do the tourist things. And we hope that you're going to subscribe and that you're going to give this video a like and that you're going to follow along as we explore different places. And we'll be sticking around here in Alanya for about a month. So we hope you'll join us. Until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.